Hey y'all, this is Zach. Um, tonight we're gonna be making some loaded mashed potatoes. This is not my recipe, this is Emerald Legacy's recipe, but it's really good and I tweaked it for the Instant Pot. Uh, so, real simple, we're gonna start. I've got, um, I chopped up three pieces or slices of bacon. If I'd had four or five, I'd have sliced up four or five, but I only had, only had uh, three. So, go ahead and turn the saute function on in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bacon in there, get that brown until I like it. And Okay. All right, so we cooked our bacon down. We're good and crispy like that. And I took that out and I left all the good uh, grease, bacon grease, bacon fat in there. Uh, next step, we're gonna put the potatoes in. I've got about, these are about 10 medium sized russet potatoes I uh, skinned and cut up. We're gonna get these in there. Cook it in that good old bacon fat. All right. So the first one we got to do is cook our our potatoes down. So I've got two cups of water. We'll put that in there. Make sure your lid is on the sealed position. Pressure cook. We'll bring it out to eight minutes, and we'll be back. All right, so we did eight minutes high pressure, and then it did a quick release, and I've already taken, you know, time to start mashing down a little bit. Now, there was a little bit of liquid left in there, uh, but when you start mashing it, that'll go away. So now it's time to start adding the, uh, adding the flavor back to it. So first of all, I got about four or five cloves of garlic. I'm going to kind of sprinkle in there. You've got to have garlic. Get it mixed in. I'm gonna start adding the liquid back to it. So I've got a cup of, this is whipping cream. You can use heavy whipping cream. You can use half and half, but I've got a cup of this. I'm just gonna add some liquid back to it. Now I've got a half cup of sour cream I'm gonna add in there. Get a little special out. All right, that's in there. Oh yeah. It is really creamy now. All right, a little pepper, a little salt. Now I've got my cheese. Well, this is this is shredded Parmesan cheese. I like Parmesan cheese. Use whatever cheese you want. Use about half of that for now. Get it mixed in. Got my crispy bacon, put about half of that in there. I've got some chives. And use however many chives you like to your taste. So let me get those mixed in. Alright, now I'm gonna add the rest of my the rest of my cheese. Again, that was a that was a cup of That was a cup of Parmesan. So I've got my rest of my bacon's in there and we'll add more chives. Again, have her, you know, have her much to your taste. Go ahead and get that mix good in there. If you need to turn the saute function back on to help the cheese melt, you can do that. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let you take a look at that. Loaded mashed potatoes. Now again, this is Emerald's recipe, it's not mine. I did tweak it for the Instant Pot because he doesn't use that. So, uh, so me and Emerald, this is our, our mashed potato recipe. We'll see y'all next time.